So what exactly happened to all the rumors and like leaks and stuff about the black and white remakes or ports that are going onto the Switch? So if you don't already know, recently there have been like a ton of leaks and rumors, whatever, about black and white being ported or remade or remastered and put onto the Nintendo Switch in 2024, which is obviously this current year. But right now we have no information. We know that Legends EA is actually going to be released next year. So as of 2024, we don't have an official Pokemon game coming out. I personally still think that there's a, there's a huge chance that we could get an announcement about black and white being remade or remastered or something to do with Unova region, which is generation five that will be on the Switch in 2024. But at the same time, I also feel like we're gonna get a Generation 5 remake during the Generation 10 cycle of Pokemon games. So if you don't know, there are like different cycles of Pokemon games. So Generation 4 um, had Gen 2 remakes. When Generation 6 came out, there was the Gen 3 remakes. When Generation 8 came out, we had the Generation 4 remakes. And then, so if we're going on with that same cycle, it seems like every two generations we get a remake. So whenever generation 10 comes out which will probably be around like 2027 ish we'll hopefully get the black and white remakes if we don't get anything this year and also i'm not including like the generation like one remakes in there because we also had let's go pikachu and and whatever and like fire red and stuff but i'm not counting those with within these type of remakes just gen 2 to gen 5 essentially so with that being said we may actually have to wait until generation 10 to come out which could be 2026, maybe 2027, could maybe be 28. I doubt that it's going to be 2028, though. I think that's too far away. I feel like it's probably going to be 2026 when we see Generation 10, because 2025, we are going to get Legends EA. This is crazy talking about the years. It's, it's crazy that 2025 is next year. That's absolutely insane to me. But anyways, it's still possible that we could get some type of Generation 5 game this year, because it's not uncommon for a Pokemon game to be announced in like the summertime or you know not in February when the Pokemon Day Pokemon Presents is and still be released within the same year just because it wasn't announced on Pokemon Day doesn't mean we're not going to get a generation 5 game this year or even just a new Pokemon game in general but the thing is though they did announce that they're going to kind of slow down production to focus on the the quality of the games rather than making a game every single year but we didn't have a game last year we had the dlc for scarlet and violet so if you want to count that as a game you can count that as a game but it wasn't there was no brand new game then so could this be two years in a row where we don't get a pokemon game i don't know there are rumors that we're gonna get some type of nintendo announcement in may that could possibly like bring about something about the next Pokemon game that's not Legends EA, like something that could come out before that. Obviously, these are like just rumors and leaks, so you can't really trust that source completely. You just gotta take that with a grain of salt and everything. But I would say if we don't get an official announcement before August, because I'm pretty sure there's usually a Pokemon Presents in August, if we don't get any news before then, I really don't think that we're gonna get a new game this year in 2024, especially a Gen 5 remake or remaster or port, whatever it may even be. I really feel like this year we're probably going to get like ports of Generation 1 through 3 with the Nintendo Switch Online service. I really feel like that's what they're going to give us in 2024. I think that would just make sense. I'm sure y'all remember like Riddler Q in the last couple months posted so many things about black and white like hints and remakes. Even Pokemon themselves, like on the official Pokemon Instagram account a couple months ago, they posted a picture, like a little gif of Reshiram and Zekrom, like right before the Pokemon presents. So I I'm pretty sure, like they're still teasing something. Like I, I swear there's got to be something within Generation 5 that's like being built or created right now. Like they're, they have definitely teased it coming out without a doubt. Even if Generation, even if other Q's uh, tweets were incorrect, who knows if they're going to be correct in the future like they, they could still come into fruition into the in the near future like just because we didn't see an announcement of that yet doesn't mean it's completely false i mean i know leakers aren't 100 percent credible you can't 100 percent confirm anything from an online source unless it's like official from nintendo or pokemon or whatever but there's also a new company called pokemon works i'm sure you guys have all heard about it a million times but it's basically a, like like a company alongside the pokemon games that is with with uh ilka and stuff um, so, Ilka is probably going to be the people that remake Generation 5, which is kind of scary, because just because of how Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl went, but, I mean, I thought there were, those games were fun, right? Those were some fun games, I think, 
but they just they didn't have the same magic which everyone agrees with so with that being said if they uh, are doing generation 5 remakes they gotta do a great job and now they could be already working on generation 5 remakes that doesn't mean they're gonna come out this year but they gotta start production on games pretty er ahead of time like a couple years ahead of schedule because you know you gotta thoroughly build everything and make it good so my theory is that pokemon works was also created to kind of help with generation 5 remakes that's kind of a loud claim i know but i i feel like they know that generation 5 is kind of like a loved generation in the community it wasn't so loved at first but people over time have really grown to love gen 5 in unova region without a doubt though because like black and white 2 are they didn't sell too hot when they came out but those games are worth so much on the secondhand market so it's like people want these games people desire pokemon black and white you know what i mean so i don't know i really think that they're they know that and they're gonna do a good job with black and white remakes my personal opinion is i hope we don't get them in 2024 i think it would be rushed i think it's too soon because it's only been like what three years i believe since brilliant diamond shining pearl which actually time has kind of flown by that is kind of crazy that it's been about three years almost but I just don't think they're going to do another remake yet because Generation 3 and 4 remakes were so far apart. Those were, what, like five years, I think, on the top of my head. I'm doing quick math here. About five or six years apart from each other. So who knows when Generation 5 remakes are going to come out? And also, are they going to do Black and White 2 on one remake? Or are they going to do Black and White remakes and then a couple years later do Black and White 2 remakes? Like, that's... That's something to consider too, because there aren't many g Pokemon games with a sequel. There's pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's just Black and White 2, and then Sun and Moon, and then Sun, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, or whatever. Um, which I know you could also say, like, Generation 2 is kind of a sequel to Generation 1, but who knows what they're going to do with Generation 5 remakes. I, I love Generation 5, and I really hope that they're happening. I mean, they will for sure happen. It's inevitable that we're going to get a Generation 5 remake eventually, right? It's just a matter of when that's the question is like when are we actually going to get it when are these leaks and rumors gonna come true because i just feel like the pokemon company themselves like nintendo themselves hinted way too many times about generation 5 i i swear they just gave so many hints and even like in the uh um the indigo disc trailer for the dlc of scarlet and violet they like they really put emphasis i feel like on kirub and Reshiram and zekrom and stuff like i mean it could just be coincidence right but I really do believe that they they have something up their sleeve and they're working on it at the moment. Like, they have to be developing it right now because why wouldn't they? It's the next remake in line of the remakes, obviously, because we had Generation 4 last time, Generation 5. So my theory is we're probably going to get it maybe next year, probably not. I feel like Generation 5 remakes are a couple years away at the same time, unfortunately. Like I said, I really do believe that we're going to get Generation 10 first and then Generation 5 remakes, which means we might even get Generation 5 remakes in 2027 because because let's just say, for example, Legend CA is going to come out in 2025, right? So that's one year. Let's just say they're not going to release two Pokemon games in a year again. 2025, Legend ZA. 2026, Pokemon Generation 10, whatever those will be called. I don't know what the games are going to be called, obviously. But Pokemon Generation 10 in 2026. I feel like the following year, we're going to get Generation 5 remakes. And then the next year, we're probably going to get like a DLC, maybe. Or maybe we can just get the DLC and Generation 5 remakes within the same year of 2026. Who knows? But um, yeah, what do you guys think? I'm really curious to see what you think. When do you think we're going to get Generation 5 remakes? Are you looking forward to it? Do you even want them? Make sure to leave a like, guys, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.